In this video, I will be explaining that how to optimize your CPU for gaming and for the maximum performance on Windows 10 and Windows 11. I won't be using any kind of overclocking or clocking process from the BIOS. So all the process will be very simple and you need to apply them one by one and after that you will find a great change. But before starting, I would recommend you that kindly go ahead and create a restore point so that if anything goes wrong, you change your mind or if you want to revert the action, then you can quickly do that. So it's very simple. You have to click on your Windows search, type sysdm.cpl, hit the enter key. The system properties box will be up. Now here from top menu option, click on system protection, then click on create. And now you need to give a name that can help you to identify that for what purpose and on what date you created this restore point. So I can give like CPU booster June first and then I have to click on create and after that a restore point will be created and then you have to close everything and now in the first step what you will have to do you need to make a right click on the windows icon then click on settings click on system then you have to look for the storage you can also search for the storage in the setting box and now here make sure the storage sense option has been enabled and then you have to click on temporary file here and it will list you all kind of temporary file like download recycle bin thumbnails so if you don't need the item in the recycle bin in the download it's recommended that go ahead select them all and then click on remove file all right once you are done you have to go back in the settings and in the setting search you have to type game and then from the suggestion click game mode settings and here assure that this game mode option has been toggled on and if not then you have to toggle it on then from the left menu option click xbox game bar and just disable this option all right once you are done you have to close everything now click on your window search type ms config then from the suggestion click system configuration and now here from the top menu option click on boot then click on advanced options and here you'll find number of processors so check this option and from the drop down choose the highest value whichever you see here so i can see 16 so i will select it then click on ok apply and ok now you can click on exit without restart and then click on your window search again type power cfg.cpl hit the enter key and now here you have to look for the ultimate performance and if you don't find the ultimate performance then click on your window search type cmd choose run as an administrator the black window will be coming up now here you need to paste a simple command that you will be getting in the description so copy from there come back to this window right click and it will be automatically pasted once pasted you have to hit the enter key and then again you need to come back to the same setting by closing it and once you come here again you will find the ultimate performance enabled so select the ultimate performance and then on the right of it you will find change plan setting click on it then click change advanced power settings another box will be up now here you have to look for pci express double click on it then look for link state power management double click and the settings make sure it's been selected to off and if it's been selected to moderate power setting or maximum power settings you have to go with the off option then click apply and then click on ok close it next click on your window search type performance and from the suggestion click on performance monitor now from the left in menu option you have to click on data collector set then look for user defined right click on it over up to new choose data collector set and you can rename this as cpu boost then choose the second option create manually advance then click on next and here in the create data log you have to check this option of performance counter then click on next then click on add and here you have to look for processor and expand the options and then below you have to scroll down to the very bottom and you have to select the last number then click on add once added click on ok again click on add 
and now this time above the processor you will find the process option click on it and expand it then you have to look for thread count so keep scrolling down you will find the thread count click on it then click on add and then click on ok now click on finish and then you can close it now finally we have to run some kind of gaming optimization tweaks for which you will be getting the link in the description so go to the google drive download it once downloaded you will find the zip file kindly go ahead and extract it and once extracted you will see such kind of folder just double click and open it and here you will find all these four optimization tweaks now you have to double click on cpu optimize then click on yes click on yes and then you have to go with the second one double click and optimize it then you have to go with the third one double click and just give all the permission yes yes and okay and then last you will find quick cpu setup which is very useful free and a lightweighted software to help you to optimize your cpu now here you need to make a right click choose install as administrator then install it and once installed you will see quick cpu loading up and once it comes up you here in the power data setting make sure it's been selected to ultimate performance and below you will find core parking frequency scaling turbo boost and performance you need to set all these options to 100 then you need to click on apply and then click on ok now you can close everything restart your pc and after that you will find that your cpu has been optimized and boosted for the best gaming and the best performance hopefully this will work for you as well and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe for any question let us know in the comment section till then take care bye bye